We are on our way <laughs> to Bali. Anna just started packing an hour ago and just finished and picked me up in an Uber. So good job, Anna. Woo, good job. <laughs> you guys, it literally has not hit me that we are on the way to the airport right now. Going to Bali, literally one of my most dreamed of destinations. And I just, I literally don't even know what to say. Like I'm in just shock of like, okay, on to the next adventure, I guess. So Travel exciting. era, baby. I literally set the intention in the beginning of 2023 and I was like, 2023 is gonna be my year of travel. I'm young, I'm single, I have, I can work for anywhere in the world. Like I literally made it my intention and so far we've traveled almost every month this year. So, intentions are powerful. What a year it's been, so grateful. What a year, so grateful. Woo, we made it to Australia. How we feeling? Great, we just got a rental car. <laughs> about to head out for the day. Anna, you're pro vlogger. We are excited, it's literally 7 a.m. right now, Woo! and we're the fam in the van. We have made it to Australia. We are spending about, I don't know, what, like 10 hours here? Yeah. <laughs> for our layover on the way to Bali, and so we thought, why not come to the beach, even though it's technically winter here and it's kind of cold, but it's beautiful, and Bondi Beach is so cute. We're in this cute little cafe, got an amazing coffee, and we're just chilling today, honestly. Exploring, and uh, it's definitely a little town that I want to come back to. It's so cute. How was swimming in your dream destination? Let me tell you. <laughs> it's a dream come true. I've been wanting to swim here for the past 15 years of my life. Wow. And Yesterday, or two days ago, somebody told me that this pool is actually on my 11 hour layover. So I made it a point to come and swim here, and I'm so beyond happy. Life is beautiful. Life is gorgeous. Winter? Gorgeous. Coconut yogurt, pounded, strawberry, no. honey, banana. Anna. <laughs> Anna, taste test. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so we made it to Bali. Today has been so fun. I need to catch you guys up on everything we did. I forgot to pick up the camera because we were just running around, but we're heading to dinner, first dinner of the trip, and I actually got this dress here. It's a very long, flowy green dress, just a little bit of light makeup, mainly cream products, and I'm excited. Feeling a little tired and jet lagged, but ready to check out and explore more of Bali. Good morning. It is now like 7.30 a.m. I just woke up like 30 minutes ago and we are about to head to a coffee shop to get a little work done in the morning. I have some things that I need to do. And then later today, the full retreat starts. So I'm so excited to have the full retreat. They have such a fun itinerary and yeah, but for now, Bali has been epic. It's been only one full day since I've been here, and it's already been so fun. Just riding around in the scooters, going to different cafes and coffee shops, meeting new people. Like, the energy here is different. <laughs> it's fully different, and it's been so fun. I got a mango banana chia seed pudding with a side of gluten free granola. We're at this really cute cafe, me and Anna. Say hi, Anna. Just gonna do some work and eat breakfast. Good 
the vibe. This is, this is actually my favorite activity to do. Going to a coffee shop in the morning, trying a good breakfast, and doing some work. Answering some emails with my friends. This is the vibe. James, say hi to the vlog. <laughs> Workout time. Let's get it. Exercises. We are gonna do some kettlebell swings, some hip thrusts with the weight, and some squats up with the shoulder press. So I'll show you guys what we're doing. Me and Anna work out together. We train together with our friend Olivia. So we're literally just trying to replicate what we do <laughs> at the gym at home here as well. It is now almost six in the morning. It is still dark out. I've been up for like 20 minutes. We have to get up early because we're going on a boat today to a different island called Nusa Penina. And I'm packing up my shit. I'm kind of in a rush per usual. So let's go. We made it to the island, Nusa Penina. Time to be a fishy. Yeah, so you fight. So I just finished leading the group through a group journaling session, which is so fun. I asked Anna and the rest of the squad at Motion if I could lead the group through some journaling and they thought it was a great idea. Kind of in prep for my own retreat that I'm gonna be hosting in Costa Rica. I just wanted to kind of feel out the vibes and see how it was gonna be like leading a group through this session and it was so fun. I really love doing this so much. Like just seeing everyone's responses, like people were talking in the group and getting vulnerable with each other is such a cool feeling. Like you really realize at the end of the day that we are all so much more similar than we think. <laughs> we literally all want the same things. We have the same fears, doubts, beliefs. And at the end of the day, we really all do want the same thing. So it was fun to lead them through asking them questions like, your intentions for the rest of the trip, what you've learned this trip so far about yourself, about life, things you wanna bring home with you. Just asking questions like that, getting deep, I think is always a really good idea. Now I'm gonna get ready to go do a quick meetup with a few girls who are also in Bali right now. I think it's gonna be a few of us at like a coffee shop. It'll be super cute to meet some of you guys in person. Cause I was getting messages being like, please, do a meetup, I'm gonna be in Bali. And I was like, you know what, why not? I feel like I never do stuff like this and it's so easy to do so if there's already a bunch of people here. So might as well just get together for coffee. Like I, I don't know, ever since I started doing in-person events too, I realized that my most favorite thing in the world is chatting with this community in person and just really getting to know everyone. And it makes such, just a big difference. So 
I'm so happy to be doing this and the rest of the day we'll see where it takes us but it's been a super fun trip in Bali so far I have kind of sucked at, at vlogging I'll literally go somewhere you guys and then realize I forgot to bring my camera <laughs> like we're literally going to ATV beautiful places all this stuff and then my friends are like where's your camera like I thought you were vlogging I'm like this is why I suck at YouTube I keep forgetting to bring the camera. If I just brought the camera, then I would remember. <laughs> but I'm gonna try my best for the rest of the trip to, to be better about this. This is the final fit. Just this little crochet top from Princess Polly. I got this necklace when we were in Australia at this little market. Jean shorts and some sandals. <laughs> Everyone's so tan and glowing. Yes, the Bali effect. in Bali. They was my favorite person in Bali. Thank you, thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> what would you tell the people is the best piece of advice? You live only once. So yes. enjoy your life every day. Die is mystery. So do what you want to do. Yeah, thank you, Dewa. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> he, he does, he lives by this. I asked him how his day was and he goes, Every day is a good day. Life is too short to not have a good day. Every day he lives like this. The mentality. Yeah. All right, David, we gotta leave. I'm obsessed with these cookies. Gluten free, brownie cookies, red cookies. Yum. Girlies, hot girlies always bring their supplements with me. Always. Always. You gotta bring the supplements. I'm gonna go. days yet on the trip. Wow. I just feel so relaxed, so at peace. Can you guys please, please convince this girl to come to Australia <laughs> and visit? And bring your friends. This won't take much convincing. I'm literally on my way. So the squad has a ping pong table in this Airbnb and we have been going crazy over ping pong. Literally going nuts, making tournaments, crazy bets. And we now have Anna and Josh in the lineup. Whoever loses has to strip and run naked through the streets with a lot of people there. So let's see who's gonna win. I'm team Anna. Who do you guys think is gonna win? Who do you think is going to win? Place your bets. I don't know. I think Josh has it. I think Anna has it in the bag. <laughs> Sherelle, who's going to win? <laughs> who's going to win? Who do you got your bets? Anna? <laughs> you won? <laughs> Anna won! <laughs> so Josh lost the bet, and now he has to do five naked push-ups in the cow field that is across from our villa. Let's go see because <laughs> we were all freaking out on who was gonna win. It we're literally, <laughs> Josh, 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 Josh. 
I feel free. <laughs> uh, and I feel a little bit sick that my genitals are with the cows. Oh, it's horrible, but you know what? It's all a bit of fun, it's a little bit of, a little bit of that, and you're up next. So, I'm going to do this for that, and you're up next. Woo! We graduated to beer pong now. Uh, water pong. Oh, just kidding. Water pong. Ooh, Jason with the celeb shot. Ooh! That would have been epic if you made it. Just realized that I haven't even shown you guys this villa we're staying at. It's truly my favorite Airbnb I think I've ever been in. It's so gorgeous. I want my house to look at it, look like this. So. Let me give you a little tour. Starting with the living room, we have these gorgeous open doors into the kitchen. We've been playing ping pong like crazy since I've been recording that. Sorry, it's kind of a mess right now, but this kitchen, like if I had a dream aesthetic, it would literally be this. The wood, the white, the natural look, and the lighting is unreal. So then to walk outside, just open up these big doors and we head down. The outdoor literally feels like a mini resort. But these little swings, it's perfect. So now going into the bedroom, it's also this gorgeous, just like white aesthetic. So pretty. We love this little mirror. My fun pants. Another favorite part is this outdoor bathroom. Actually stunning. This little shower. This place is giving me so much inspo and like motivation to work and to get a place like this one day. We manifest baby. It's our last night in Bali, unfortunately. So we're heading to a nice dinner. So excited, I'm wearing this new dress that I got from this boutique in LA. It's like a pop-up in on Abikini. And I'm so sad to be leaving. Unfortunately, I literally feel like I could stay here for months, but always excited to get back to routine. So let's have a good last fam dinner.